There we go, that should be better, shouldn't it? <laughs> it will help if I actually put my right input to the output, shake it all about put. Hello, how the devil are we doing? How is everybody? I am... <laughs> we are... Oh, thank you very much there, Remelius Feet. Resubscribed for four months in a row. Thank you. Goodness. Yes, we are... We are very much just getting over the thralls of having a second vaccination. Um, we had Pfizer, which was our second dose. Our first dose as well, obviously. So, um, it was a bit touch and go, but I thought, I'm feeling well enough. And last time I had my jab, I did frickin' Requiem. So, come at me, Tomb Raider. What can you throw at me that is gonna top that? Probably not a lot. But it's gonna be good. I've been looking forward to playing this for a while, and I've been looking forward to actually sharing this kind of journey with you for a um, well, since last week, really, where I couldn't actually get it working, but I've now gotten it working. I now have it working on on my computer. Jason. It took a it took a lot of help from Jason, not Chester. Special thanks to him. And um, it was Jason Walker, Mr. Square Enix, who helped me troubleshoot, try to get it working on PC. Hey, thank you very much, there, Blue, for the subscribe. Welcome to the War Clan. And also the re-subscribe there from Twin Armed Duca. Thank you very much. Oh, my goodness, Raider Mama, thank you very much for the five bits. But yes, 
Um, I can go through the process with you. If you're interested in getting this game working yourself on PC, I can f I can try and talk you through what I did or had to do in a second. It's surprisingly difficult compared to how easy it is to get the gold editions for both Tomb Raider 1 and 2 working. So much so to a point that the fans have actually put an automated fixing patcher software together to be able to use just in one click. It's done. Thanks, Keanu. Um, with this one, it's 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 it, it's so much worse. <laughs> it's so much worse. I had to do things like I had to get five. I, I tried to get an original copy of the disc. Thank you very much, Uncharted Raider, for the fifty bits. Um, and I tried to run up the setup installer from that. Didn't seem to want to work. So then I thought I'd just do the other method of extracting all the files that it would have installed to a location anyway, and running it through. That method, that didn't seem to work either. It would get as far as like, Sam, I tried to install Lost Artifact, Sam. It didn't work. Hey, Sandema, thank you very much there. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But um, yes, um, so what I'll go through it with you in the end because it is quite an interesting interesting series of steps you have to take and if anyone's interested in doing it themselves i can share some links in my discord to ones that worked for me and you're welcome to try and pull your hair out yourself i might actually see if i can make my install files for Tomb raider gold readily available because it's really difficult to track down a like a legitimate link to find um the files you need to actually play this game whereas like gold edition for tr2 and one seem to be everywhere so it's a bit strange yeah, Jason seems to be the only person that I know of that had the installer work for him. Probably one of many people who have managed to get a computer that seems to have wanted to do what it uh, what I ask it to do, what they ask it to do. But it's um oh god, Ginny Lamps is saving his points for a devilish cha challenge. Insert evil laugh. Looking forward to it. Spam in a cam. Hi Steve? Question mark. Not right now. Maybe later? No. Um, how you doing, Spam Nakam? And thank you for the 10 bits there, Raider Mama. Happy Pride Month to you too as well, BT. Happy Pride Month to everybody here too. Hope you're all having a good pride. A good prid. A ponty prid. Yes, so let's um cut the cut the McCree. And let's get to the technical nightmares of which I have had to endure. So bear with me two seconds whilst I just Oh, how do you think of, what do you think of the new layout, by the way? What do you think of the new look? I've sort of gone for something that matches my logo's aesthetic a bit better. I'm still keeping elements from the other one, obviously, but this one I thought, yeah, I like it. Hmm. Right, let's take it to the game, I hopefully. Yes, there we go. Cool. Excellent. So, let me just take you through the process of installing Tomb Raider 3 Lost Artifact. So, um, let me just check the Zoom's working. Yep, Zoom is still working. Oh, yeah, she is passing out bananas. Yeah, I unfortunately didn't have um, classic Lara by the time that they had the, the doubloons version on Fortnite, where she sort of like makes it rain with actual coins. So I just had to make do with bananas, which I think is just funnier. Can you imagine just her going into India with all the monkeys and just standing in the middle of all of them going, make it rain, motherfuckers? <laughs> <sighs> yes, so uncivilized. Winston, fetch the Earl Grey. I fancy a whipping today. Right, so we go to where... Let's see if I can get all the files necessary to sort of talk you through this. This monstrosity that was my journey into getting this expansion working. I really wish there is a way to kind of get it to automatically install. So I create an ins like an auto-installer like you do for um, Tomb Raiders 2 and 1. That'd be great. Maybe if, um, for, for thought in the future. But anyway, yes. So... If I get these two windows up, it won't mean a lot to you just for now. So if I just make these two windows bigger, hope you, hopefully you can see that. In fact, I'm actually just going to, I'm actually just going to hide the chat feed for a moment so you can see this a bit better. I might even hide me, Paris the Fort, so you can actually see everything in this because I feel this is very important. So. When you get a copy of Tomb Raider The Lost Artifact, um, what you will probably see, there are a couple of links online that give you what is called the CD or an ISO, um, which is essentially just an, a CD image. And this is everything 
that it contains, apart from the voodoo stuff, you can just ignore that. That's me experimenting. Um, so normally what the guides online tell you to do, they normally, t they normally tell you to basically run with the setup and then don't use the auto run. It will break things and then patch it with a fan patcher afterwards. I thought, huh, jobs are good and nice and simple. But no, thank you very much, Gaming One Confessors. You've been playing this recently as well. You played it yesterday. Sorry I couldn't catch it. I had to shoot off. I uh, hope it went well. So I found when I opened this, it did nothing. It would spin its little loading wheel for a little bit and it would do fucking nothing. Interestingly, though, it still runs in the background if you open Task Manager. I know this is tech talk at the moment. Thank you very much there for the 200 bits there, Blazing, blazing Devilify. Um, so where is that's on my other monitor? There we go. Yes. So sometimes when in, when you think nothing's happening, you can sometimes see stuff running in the background here. And one of them was a, the installer for this, but it wasn't doing anything. So I thought, right, I'll cancel that. I'll start from fresh. Um, so the other way that it expects you to do this is to, if I go to this folder here, is essentially copy all of the folders from the CD into a directory everything here and then you use this thing called tr update it's like a tomb raider multi-patcher i think it's done them done the rounds on online um and you basically just accept this go to the next um you can leave that ticked it's quite an interesting it comes with a fixed range of darkness as well which is quite useful but in utilities you basically just tell it to extract all of the updates that it's got available from fans for tomb raiders 3 up until um one up until chronicles so that's fine. Click install, let it do its thing. It then puts a folder out on the desktop, which you can't go away. You can't quite see because I've got a fancy moving wallpaper on. So you still with me? <laughs> anyway, so you open the one that says Tomb Raider LA, which is Lost Artifact. You essentially copy those into this folder here with me so far if you're not i do apologize this was a big fucking headache for me and i work in it so essentially you've got those updated files there ready to go so you think okay i'll just double click on that open it play it no good no problem uh except the problem that you'll probably run into is that when you go to actually open the game it will it will play the idos logo it'll show the legal card at the beginning um, but it will go to the menu screen and then it will just flat out crash you might be one of the rare few people that this actually works for first time if so fucking marvelous pat on your head with a loaf of bread as kedicarus would say but for me that didn't work so after much trial and error what i did find that i had to do which was via a guide on good old games forums um which you can which i found with a quick google search I do have a PlayStation search, yeah. Actually, I got from I think I got it from Primark. <laughs> um, is you essentially go to where you've installed Vanilla Tomb Raider 3. Bear with me. So you go to Vanilla Tomb Raider 3, you take the executable file here, and you essentially copy that, and then you paste it into here. Then you will have two executables, one called tomb3.exe and the other one called tr3gold.exe. In order to get this working, and this is insanity, and I don't know why this is a thing, you essentially have to rename that one you've just copied to tr3gold.exe. Then, once you have done that, then you can kind of get a bit further. But, but wait, there's more, because you'll find that if you do open it this way, you'll see this. Let me just get my webcam back up again. You'll see, you'll see this all come up and you think, great, I've got my game all up and running and hunky-dory and stuff. But but um, you might get this far and it might do a thing where it will completely crash, which is what I had. Or it will get to a stage where all of these options here are missing their textures. Or <laughs> what interestingly I had to tell Jason was I had no sound at all. I could hear the IDOS um, video absolutely fine but i couldn't for the life of me hear any of the music or the game sound effects which is obviously as you well know is quite crucial to playing a tomb raider game so then then i had to have a had a bit of an epiphany i thought hang on a minute is it missing something because i need to access the setup menu 
And this is a little hack that you can actually do for any of the older Tomb Raider games, actually. So if I just close... Oh, if I just... Close this so you can see my shortcuts there. Now, so I've got a desktop shortcut here for Tomb Raider 3 Gold. If I go to open the properties of this, you've got the target window just here, which is the path to where the executable loads from. Okay, stay with me. <laughs> at the end of it, all you need to do is put this at the end of it, a little hyphen and setup. And what that will do, is if I show you, is it will give you that screen. Great. So all I need to do was pick my resolution, which I'm going to go with this. And then don't need to touch anything else. You literally just need to press OK. Voila, you're booted up. And then after the IDOS logos, we now have a working game, which took me so way longer than physically necessary in order to get sorted. So thank you very much for sticking through, but I thought that would be a useful little kind of like anecdote for anyone who has had similar problems or still hasn't been able to get this working. There must be a foolproof way of actually doing this like for every device. This is this can't be how it, you, you should you shouldn't have to you shouldn't have to do install this sort of thing on a on a machine by machine basis. Like it's it, it just doesn't it shouldn't work. You know, Todd Howard here, it should just work. But you know, computers. Mm. <laughs> Sign Jin. Find your Jason today at findadjason.com. Ah, oh, well, thank you very much for sticking with me on that. Let's play some Lost Artifact. And thank you very much. Who have we got here? Hi and Chimi, thank you for the couple of bits. Thank you, Raider Mama, for the four bits and another couple bits there from Hi and Chimi. Yes! Cool, right. Here we go. So I've never played this before. I have, I'm completely new to this particular expansion pack, like I have been with the other ones that I've been playing through. So let's hopefully not crash, because that has happened when I've clicked new game. And let's play some Lost Artifact. <sighs> so here we are, we're at um, Willard's Castle after, after the events of Tomb Raider 3, I think is the story. I know, there's a hell of a lot of screen shake. Is Union Jack Airways. Thanks, Union Jack Airways. And you can actually skip that cutscene by pressing the look button. Hello, Keena24 Lara. I'm doing all right. Not all um, symptoms, side effects of um, AstraZe AstraZeneca. Pfizer, non-withstanding. I, I hope everyone here is doing okay, too. I'm going to be trying to go for the secrets in this one because apparently the secrets in this expansion pack are actually pretty bloody good. Um, they had... Oh, Ray, you had sushi today? Ah, oh, jealous. I love I love me some sushi. I do. Oh, there's the helicopter, I think. Oh, no, that's just a metal bit of fence. Okie dokie. Yeah, apparently this is his family home. This is like his family's castle. Steve. Or some craziness. Ah, yes, unfortunately the health bars are going to be tiny, aren't they? I haven't missed that. I have not missed that. There's the helicopter. Yeah, and so basically the story of TR3 Gold is also that you 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 are on, on the search for the fifth artifact out of the four that Willard used to basically turn himself into a giant Spider-Man um, at the end of Tomb Raider 3. Thank you for the couple bits, Iron Chimi. And um, Sophia Lee is going to make a return. You know that person that we defeated with electricity? She's back. And she's pissed. <laughs> it's essentially the story reasoning for her return. Maybe she's a zombie? So you got Willard's well. Is he? I don't think so. Last I saw him in Antarctica, he was looking a bit green. Fucking Willard's well. Uh -huh. Fifth element. Yes, exactly. It is indeed the fifth element. Yes. 
Some people get castles from their parents, some get disappointed looks. Oof. Does that hit a bit too close to home there, Cyan Chin? <laughs> There's Scottish flags. There's nothing up there for me except patriotism. Right. And down we go. And of course, with this being two rate of three, I am expecting, completely expecting 100% brutal difficulty. Dark Souls level difficulty. As is the norm for Tomb Raider 3. Whoa, what the? Whee! Something's happening. Okay. Can I surface now, please? Oh, hang on. Two secondos. Ow! <laughs> Hitting my head on the microphone. Don't mind me. Um, is this the hardest? I would I would say this is one of the most unforgiving Tomb Raider games out of the entire series. So I just had to fix something that had just come unstuck underneath my desk. I need to find some stronger sticky tape. Because those things keep falling down. Thank you for the couple bits, Hi and Chimi. Uh, honestly found two where I want to be the most difficult with the Atlanteans. Yeah, well the Atlanteans are quite hard. I th I'm thinking more of a kind of unfair difficulty because the Atlanteans, they they can be a bit unfair to dodge. Sometimes they just rush you and can get you to a corner. If they do that, then you're basically toast. Um, but I'm talking more things along the lines of you're walking down, minding your own business, and then all of a sudden the ceiling comes down to attack you. With, with no prior warning, just suddenly the ceiling attacks, you know? <laughs> Sam! A drunk in Scotland, Sam! I just wanted to go home after the pub! <laughs> this isn't Yabatai! Oh, who's this? That is a big dog. That is a fucking huge dog. <laughs> is that a dog with glowing red eyes as well? Okay. Is it am I the only one? Yes, the the, the lesser spotted red eyes brown dog. My favourite Yu-Gi-Oh card. Thank you for the couple bits there, hi and Chimi. Oh, there's a little platform down there. It's bound to be something, isn't there? Let's try and find it first. It is quite, quite the demon looking dog. You found TR2 to be worse than three bridge. Thank you for the five bits there. Bitties like you sucking on my bitties like you wanted it. <laughs> I think I did something slightly out of sequence there. It showed me a cutscene, probably to highlight the fact the guard was running up to the gate to let the dog out. Ooh, 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 ooh. But I kind of went the a different way. <laughs> and the game was not prepared. Ooh, there's a hole. Is an owl in the floor. What's next? Demon Llama? Maybe. Ooh, demon music. If I need to make any kind of adjustments to sound, by the way, then please, please do let me know. These games tend to be quite quiet. At the best of times. Hashtag Warcast. <laughs> Plot hole or secret hole, you decide. I always let the ladies decide. Right. What is in here? This is quite the claustrophobic little um, nook, isn't it? Everything is okay. Excellent. Well, I've taken, I've turned up the game volume with just a smidge. So if I need to turn it down, I, I can do. Thank you very much there for the couple bits, Hi and Shimi. Oh, two seconds. I 
I'm in perpetual darkness, actually. Just let me just get a light. Oh, there's a lever in here. Okay. Lovely stuff. Lara Calden, don't worry about being late at all. You just missed a short little exclamation. Oh, demon dog again. It's respawned. Reincarnate. I will kill it again. Aha. Okay. All that to get a health kit. Fine. I think. Interesting. Down be daddy. You are not late. You are just exactly arriving when you need to be. Ugh. There she goes, driving home. Probably not the best of conditions to be driving home, but... Hey, it's not my life, is it? <laughs> Taking notes? Am I? Oh, there's another guard here. What are they guarding? This place is an absolute wreck. They look um, repurposed from London, don't they? These guards, they look pretty much spot on with the National Gallery. National, Muse National Museum guards. Uh, please look left in the horizon. I am looking left towards the horizon. Enjoying some nice tea. Further what way? Further left? Go to the edge of glory. Ooh, there's a little pickup here. Shotgun shells? The sound effects sound a bit too loud. I had a feeling that might be the case. Ooh. Screenshot? Ah! No! It went away too quickly. Well, that was pretty cool. Ooh, how cinematic. I missed it. I thought that that was it, that weird camera angle. What am I waiting for? <laughs> oh, okay, I'm looking at the horizon. Oh, thank you, Iron Chimi. I... There's a little thing over there. I, I have no clue what you're trying to direct me towards, but... But it isn't there. Is it the Loch Ness that you're trying to get me to spell? Is there like a Loch Ness Easter egg? That's pretty cool. I shall venture forth. No time for this shenanigans. Oh no! There were some things. I wanted to pick up the things. Curse you strong current game. No. No, 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 no. Can I perhaps maybe walk up here? I don't know, I'll just swim around here, that should be fine. I missed Nessie, oh, that sucks. Not quite the run restarter I was hoping for, but <laughs> there we go. Oh, great harpoons. Ammo for my favorite weapon. Everyone's favorite Tomb Raider weapon. Am I right? And um, what you performed there was the hardest secret ever. I did it from the 50th, 50th time. It was terrible. It keeps swinging back and forth. Thank you for the couple bits there, Hi and Chimi. We're 311 on the, um, the hype train.
Oh my goodness, I keep getting stuck on stuff. I keep getting stuck on bits of the floor. <laughs> Not fun. Okay, let's go back. Ooh, more pointy sticks. My favorite. Right, let's go back up here and save. See, our engine isn't working well, the triangles. No, not really. Not really. Considering what we've played together and how the engine wants it, well, a modified version of the engine can run. Geometry-wise, this is a little bit basic. <laughs> in some respects. Triangles is Lara's greatest threat. Okay, let's try. It says it's when you swim back and forth or whatever. We'll just look to the horizon. Maybe I can see it. Yeah, that down there is what I was trying to go for. So how the devil am I supposed to get down to whatever that is? That looks like a weapon. Those look like Uzis, actually. Should we go for the Uzis? Let's try going for the Uzis. Thank you for the couple bits, Hi, Chimi. Oh. Eagle! Extinct. So what have we got? We just got pistols. We've got ammo for other stuff, though. Maybe long junk to it? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm just going to try and find a good vantage point for me to do that. I've also been practicing for my thing tomorrow, which I'm hoping that some of you lot will be able to catch. It is um, a, ma a level set called Water um, Sanctuary of Water, Fire and Ice by Piega. Just chuck Lara's ass over there. Just her ass, nothing else. Just, just the ass. You don't need the rest of it. It was the 90s. That's all, that's all anyone cared about back then. Okay. Well, let's see if we can. Highland fling ourselves over there. Ah! <laughs> yeah! I made a funny. Right. Unchirated with the 10 bits. Holy shit. Thank you. Oh, come on. No. No. No, the current's way too strong. I've got to jam myself into like a crevice, I think, to stop myself from getting carried away, so to speak. Fight, 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 fight. Fight, 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 fight. Fight, 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 fight. Hmm, I won. Ooh, ah, there's the harpoon. Let's get the harpoon first. Let's make it feel important by getting it first. Bless it. It doesn't, it doesn't really have uh, much of a day in the sun when it comes to me and Tomb Raider games, so let's let's fix that, shall we? Oh, Kina24 Lara, thank you very much for... Oh, shit, looks like we are going for this then. Oh! Wait, what? I did that completely by accident. Okay. <laughs> yes, interesting. <laughs> I went to get the harpoon, but it it mysteriously said, "No, Steve. No, you must stay away from the shitness that is the harpoon. We must <laughs> we must steer you in the direction of better weapons." And yay, I accepted my fate. And lo, it was good. <laughs> that was super convenient. Hello, Norsk. Birdie birdie good Norsk. Birdie birdie good Norsk. Norsk 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 Norsk. How the devil are you? Oh, thank you very much there for the ten bits. Uncharted. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my zoom cam. So much too much headroom there. Okay. And then da da. There we go. Sorry about that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, let's um. <laughs> Now let's go for the harpoon gun. 
I'm going to save that because there is... N I can guarantee if I were to go back and try to do that again, that I would not be able to replicate that at all. Let's, let's, let's go back. What is offensive? <laughs> I want Swedish chef. He's a legend. You leave Swedish chef alone. Thank you, Blazon Devilify. Devilify. This is an epic sounding name. Devilify. Devilify. Right, cool. So now we're back here. We can now go for the um, harpoons. Thank you for the couple bits there. Hi in Chimie. 338. Nice. Keep it going. See how high we can get today. Oh, goodness me. Goodness me. It really doesn't want me getting them, does it? Highland Fling 2 Electric Boogaloo. It's just one big slope to go down, isn't it? Let's try that again. I've just realized I framed my camera so you can see the little light up Sora in the, on my shelf there. It's pretty convenient. Fight, 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 fight. Fight! Fight, fight! Fight, 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 fight. Fight, 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 fight! I know you're not Swedish, you're Egyptian. I think it's just more to do with the fact that the, the, the word Norsk fits very well into the Swedish chef cadence, so to speak. Uh, can you ask DJ to make it as a sound effect? I don't need to ask him. I can, and I will. <laughs> Oh, you want some purple? Okay, Hanji, you want some purple in the in the house? In the house. There we go. Purple in the house. Thank you very much, Hanji me. Right, let's save here so I don't have to do the backtracking again. Yes, I know I'm safe scumming. Two bits there from Hanji me. Thank you very much. Yes, there we go. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to pick you up and never use you again. <laughs> oh god, you're at 4,700 channel points. Be very afraid. Good lord, help me. God help us, everyone. Right, ain't no way I'm gonna make, make it back up there. So I'm gonna take the long way back. Thank you. It's amazing what you can do with a £12 um, Amazon Smart Bulb. Croft Rider has 9,000, but I'm too shy to use them. I need to make better rewards for channel points. I'm in the process of working some stuff out, but you'll have to bear with me. Um, they're going to be quite good, though. Some some ways to sort of directly affect the, how the stream looks. In, uh, in more creative ways. That's as much as I'm going to give away there. RB has 4,976. Holy shit. Darkwing Damie has 18,700. Seven, uh, 700. Jesus. <laughs> uh, Ethan Dammer, uh, kill your next three enemies with the harpoon. All right, cool. You heard it here first. Let's uh, equip God's bitch, the harpoon gun, and... Um, and carry on, my wayward son. Thank you for the couple bits there, Hi and Jimmy. <laughs> ah! Shikaka! That flock of that, that flock of bad badly pixelated JPEG bats just flew past me. Oh no, scary. This looks like somewhere I can open. Maybe I should find maybe I should look for it first. There must be a back door around here somewhere. 
Oh, that's closed. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. So this is going to be a timed platforming chow oh, bastards! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I should really get the dung goof counter up for this, but maybe another time. <laughs> Hello, harpoon, my old friend. I will now holster you again. It's a very good um, lyrics you've just come up there with, um, Raider Mama. Ah, no! <laughs> Shite. Da, 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 da. Sam! I'm in Scotland, Sam! I took a wrong turn! Thank you for the couple bits, Hi and Shimi. Balls. I need to work out where that gate is that it's actually asking me to open and run to. That'd be an idea. Load game! <laughs> Sam! I was only wanting to go to Bogner Regis, Sam. So where is this? Is it this one here? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. The mystery is solved! <laughs> oh, hang on. We have our first victim for the harpoon of justice. Vito Vendetta, welcome. It's been a while since I've seen you on stream. Hope you're doing okay. Mm, that is pathetic. It didn't even... It didn't even line up the shot properly. I'm gonna have to reload that now. Because it... Oh, I hate the harpoon gun so much. It's so pants. The only use it has is for potential underwater encounters. Other than that, you might as well use it to serve people um, cocktail sausages with maybe olives. I don't know. Party food. I'm gonna have to get as close as I can to this fool because I don't trust the harpoon gun to be proficient enough for me to be able to take him down. Um, 10 bits there from Uncharted, thank you very much. Right, Brill, I've killed one person and I have five harpoons. Excellent. This challenge is going to be... terrible. <laughs> Does he have harpoons? No, probably not. Quite possibly not. I am going to save just in case I dick myself over by pulling the wrong lever, because I have a feeling there's a, there's a better way to go than... Um, than I think or may realise. That opens the same fucking door, so what's the point of the other one? Right. Okay. I'm slowly working this out. What is actually worth a damn, what isn't. I'm gonna leave... that alone. I'm going to go back over to our hidden lever that's over here. See what the fuss is about this one. <laughs> Jonah, where's me armbands, Jonah? Hey, Blaze. Not much. How about yourself? Hope you're doing okay. Ah, bats! No! Yeah, I... Hmm. Oh, that might be a different door, actually. Oh, God. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Sup? Oh, God, you have 5,000 points. No. No. <laughs> Dead. Well, there's a, there's a solitary platform on, on up on that there yonder ledge. Does it have harpoon? E bag gum, does it have harpoon weapon weapon stuff? Oh, is a crowbar. Oh, good job I d 
Ah, yes. Can I use it to knock people out with? Maybe? Thank you very much for the couple bits, Hi and Shimi. A hackney accent like Jason Statham. I don't really know Jason fucking Statham, mate. <laughs> I'm Jason Statham. <laughs> I was in Crank. No, that went a bit Ringo Starr then, wasn't it? I was in Crank. They didn't quite like it, the other lads. <laughs> right, so now I've got a crowbar. My hopes and dreams. <laughs> Skipping my step. And I don't know why. So let's have a look. Hey, Angel Ash, thank you very much for the five month sub. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, guess what character I voiced? Um, I don't know. Tony Stark's kitchen sink. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, anyone with a northern accent was in Game of Thrones, let's face it. The whole of Northern England was Game of Thrones. Oh, I've just gone down north of the wall, Jon Snow, fucking hell. Do you know what my favourite character was? It was Sir Alistair Thorne, because the way he said bastard was epic. I just loved the way he could... The various different ways that he could use the word bastard was just fucking inspired. Bastard! Oh, Jon Snow, you bastard! No, that's the wrong door. You're back, what did you miss? Mm, not much. <laughs> ah, that's the door it opens. Okay, and there's my next victim. <laughs> Iron Man Batman and his Transformer called Breakaway. Ah. He's clearly enjoying saying it. I mean, it's one of those words that's actually quite enjoyable to say, especially with that accent. Bastard! It's, you know, it's great. One of the great English words there. Oh, good job. Good job he went down then, because I have literally just run out of harpoon ammunition. I am harpoonless. Northerners have mastered the art of saying, BUSTARD! Yes, they have. <laughs> the Hound had some, did have some classic lines. He did have some good lines. Did you know that he was the Quaker Oats porridge guy from way back when? We have a bit of English trivia from that. The actor who played the Hound, he was in a, he was in a, um, no, it was Scott Porridge Oats, wasn't it? He was in adverts back in the 80s for Scottish Porridge Oats. And yes, it's <laughs> going back and looking at it now, knowing that is just absolutely fantastic. There's a Sean Bean compilation on YouTube, yeah. Sean, but what, the amount of times he dies? I know there's definitely one of those. But there ain't no bastard co There must be a bastard compilation for Sir Alistair Thorne. Someone look it up. It has to exist. Surely. It's too much of a demand for it. Narp. Yarp. Oh, yeah, he was the trolley boy from Hot Fuzz as well. Yes. Yarp. <laughs> Thank you very much for the couple bits there, Hi and Shimi. Hi, I'm Jimmy to Jimmy Hiam. Where do I go now? Up there, clearly. I need, I'm actually actively looking for harpoon frickin' ammo. How bad is that? You put me in a position where I'm looking for the worst, for my, my nemesis. Ammo for my nemesis, the harpoon gun. Okay. Uh, didn't he get an award for dying in pretty much every way possible on film? I think he might have done. Um, although interestingly, interestingly enough, he is not the pers he's not the actor that dies the most on screen. Um, I can't remember what video it was I saw, but he is not the top. There is someone else who's basically died in more way more films than Sean Bean ever has, which is quite impressive. Hmm. Was it what culture? Steve. Yeah, what what culture film probably? I'll be voicing Starscream as well. Nice. Yeah, so what was the point of me going up here if I can just walk around to the side? 
Fair enough. Clearly, it just likes making me do it the hard way. Unless I'm supposed to jump up there. Maybe there's some goodies up there. Corporal Bridge was actually thinking of Sean Bean. He was weirdly enough in Silent Hill, wasn't he? He was in both Silent Hill films, and he doesn't die. <laughs> and also, Silent Hill 2, the um, the second Silent Hill fi um, film, has Jon Snow in it. Kit Harington's in it. It is a terrible film. Don't go see it. <laughs> Maybe the harp the real harpoon ammo were the friends that we made along the way. Get out. <laughs> Seen bean Seen Bean Machine. Thank you very much for the couple bits, Hein Chimi. 364. Nice. Keep it coming. Why can't I jump for <laughs> Unfollowed. <laughs> no, please come back. So, okay. Not a bit too far forward there. Which, which How to Train Your Dragon was he in? Was he the third one? Because I've not seen the third one just yet. Am I out of bounds? Am I supposed to be up here? Because clearly the geography is not liking me being up here. It's like, oh shit, is that that bit in the Truman Show where Jim Carrey goes into the lift too early? And they hadn't finished changing the set over and he sees behind the, he sees backstage for a few seconds. Yeah, I think I'm not supposed to be up here. <laughs> oh well, welcome to Boundary Break. <laughs> well, it's, it's cool that it lets you do this, but yeah, literally no purpose other than just because you can. Maybe there was no purpose for me going up here. Ah, well, it was fun while it lasted. Yeah, look at this. Stare into the endless abyss that is Scotland. You've never made it up there. Oh, okay. It wasn't actually that difficult. Okay, that's a little It's nice sightseeing, but I think we should actually crack on with things. Uh, you have changed all your icons and artwork on my screen. Yes, I have. I have updated things to be a bit more on brand. And plus, I've kind of looked at other things. Other streamers like Ash has started using like some of the overlay packs that I I use as well. And it's like, I don't want to be too similar to other people. <laughs> so, um, and I kind of like this one here because it's it's on brand. It kind of matches my logo's font and stuff like that. So I, I quite like it. I like it. Ash can have the... He, he, he can have that style. Did I add a um, shaggy emote? Uh, no, I did not. And... No. <laughs> I never will. Let's explore down here. What is that? Ah, oh, shit! Demon, demon dogs, what the hell? Oh god, it's the mechanic from Unfinished Business again, where the, the cat statues would turn into enemies. It's We've got dog statues now that turn into demon dogs? Why? But... <laughs> okay. What's up here? Nothing. Uh, what did I do to celebrate my anniversary? Uh, well, our wedding anniversary. Um, we actually went out for the first time in ages to a restaurant, considering lockdown restrictions have eased quite significantly over here, which is good. So we've been able to go to pubs openly and restaurants. We actually went to Wagamama's, which is a, like a Asian restaurant do specialize in ramen and, and gyoza and tempura and that sort of thing and katsu curry. Um, we spent um, a while going around the local shopping area and going to the local geek shops again. And there's an arcade that opened up in Southampton. And we went to one. It's like literally £10 a head. You get unlimited access to all the arcade machines in the shop for about an hour. And we went on that. 
she um, Sarah actually booked that for us to do, which was quite nice of her. So um, that's that's what we did. We very much had been we had missed ramen. We loved our ramen, and it was good to have ramen again. Ten out of ten. We'll definitely go again soon. But yeah, that's what we did. We just spent spent some good time together. Thank you for asking. There are two particular areas that you're looking forward very much to see my reaction. Oh, good. I'm looking forward to reacting for you <laughs> to enjoy. I'm actually going to explore the other area with that guard down there, which unfortunately I can't kill because I don't have any harpoons. As per the challenge. Ramen, man. Yeah, Norsk. Ramen is, is amazing. Hey Steve, I'll be uploading a funny video on Saturday. Um, you want to watch it off stream? Ah, uh, you can put it in the Discord, and if I've got time, I can I can catch up with it. Certainly, share it around with the group and whatnot. Share it with the community. Ah, uh, boo! I am from Portsmouth. Apparently, this is the reaction I'm meant to show. Oh, was this to do with football by any chance? Because that's the only reason where I ever see anyone go boo X town or a boo X country. Whenever it gets mentioned. Unless they're hideously racist. Um. <laughs> right, so I'm going to save this here. And then I'm going to go jump down here and surprise this person. With a nice, war nice, a nice cuddly hug. Sav. The full damage in this, for some reason, seems to be greatly mag greatly magnified compared to the other maps and level sets that I've played. So I can't attack I can't attack this person because I have no I have no I have I have no feckin' Oh god there are so many. There's fire and everything. Harpoons, please! I need to kill one more person and then I can... Oh wow, I was put down like the dog I was! <laughs> I need more harpoon ammo, that's what I need. Oh, your boss um, lives in Totten next to Southampton, fair enough. Sam, the football's on funny man in shorts fell down! <laughs> what? <laughs> the funny man in shorts went down. Why can't pistols? Because you can ask whoever it was that challenged me why, because they said that I can't... I was limited to killing the next three enemies with harpoon um, rounds, and I've run out of harpoon rounds, so I can't very much do that now, can I? Unfortunately. Yeah, I... Yeah, I don't care much for football. But the only time I've really, really paid attention to our national sport is during the World Cup. But even then, it's a passing interest. It's nothing ever hardcore. I mean, I think every... Like lad was into football growing up at school. I think you were kind of made to like football to be at least tolerated at school. But yeah, other than that, I... Oh, right. Oh. oh. I've just literally crawled out of the f frying pan and into the fire. Oh well, might as well end this. I feel stronger now. I'm going to load that again. I've got the crowbar so I can open that door at least. And I would do it again, says Ethan Demma. I'm sure you would. Sure you would. I need to put a graphic on so people who are watching who have joined late will know that I've actually done a challenge. I've got a challenge activated at the time. Thank you very much, Vic Viper. Run through... Oh, A gun, which I can't use because... Eason Demmer. Oh no! Ah, oh, posture check as well, thank you very much. Ah, yes, that's why I have to crawl through here, is because I have to literally... I have to go through here in order to um, escape. Oh god, this challenge has made, has made me burn through all of my medicinal wares already. 
Thank you for the five bits, Norse chick. Thank you for the ten bits. Uncharted. Making it rain. <laughs> Making it rain, banana. Right, so we got an MP5 I can't use. I've got Uzis I can't use at the moment. I've got shotgun shells, which I don't have guns for. I've got pistols I can't use. And there is no time limit because they didn't specify the time limit, which is annoying. <laughs> they just literally said the first three enemies. MP5 supremacy. Oh, it beats the fuck out of the M16, for sure. Definitely in terms of mobility. For sure. What's the betting that that dog statue is going to come to life? It is going well, um, Raider Marvel. What are you on about? What are you on about? Oh, ye of little faith. Oh, shitting hell. Oh, God, that was quicksand. Mud thing. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you. Oh, no. Okay. I mean, it would be great if I could trap these stupid idiots in this and get them killed, but unfortunately, the AI is actually too clever for, to let me do that. But there we go. Even in Scotland, there's quicksand. Entering stealth mode. Dun 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 Lara Croft Sneaking through the mud in Scotland and I'm dead. Hello Terranes, how you doing? How are you doing? Interestingly though, you can counter challenge me. So some, if someone was feeling particularly generous, they can counter-challenge the challenge to basically cancel it out or amend it. The choice is entirely up to you lot. It's not cheating. It's science. Sarah said it was cheating. I was like, nope, it's science. Excuse me. Hey, do not use the harpoon gun. Music to my ears. Let's rock. I swear, I promise though, the next time that I get some harpoon ammo, the next enemy after that, I will complete the challenge and I will kill them in this life or the next. Next life, clearly, because I've just died, but you get the point. Oh, uh, hi and bye, gotta go. <laughs> nice to see you, T. Um, thank you for joining for the couple of seconds you did. Hope you're doing okay, you and Gardner Dado. They did shoot her in the boob. How sexist. <laughs> Ladies can be shot in other areas too. Hashtag free the nipple. <laughs> From being shot <laughs> by Scottish people. <laughs> Open, says me. And thank you for the 10 bits there, Uncharted. And earlier, thank you for the couple bits there, Hi and Chimi. Don't know if I said that already. And hello to all 82 people of you watching. Thank you for joining me on this. These seems to be very popular streams, these particular games, these expansions, because I don't think a lot of people have actually experienced them. Either that or like this is like the most popular one, because I think even with Tomb Raider 2 Gold, my viewership peaked. Probably around about 70, 75. There was more ammo, wasn't there? Or, my, or I collected I must have collected it all. I'm going crazy. Gone crazy. Am crazy. Is it just me or do I look like James Arnold Taylor? What? Um, Titus. Ha 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 ha! Could you imagine? Uh, TR3 Gold is really big on streams right now since everyone was doing speedruns. Ah, okay, cool. Interesting. Uh, 
And thank you for the 10 bits Uncharted. Fun Charted, as you'll be, be known from, from here on out tonight. Fun Charted. In the house. Uh, mainly console player. I've never had the chance to experience what was mainly PC DLC. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, I think someone has actually managed to find a way to retroactively port it into a, P a PlayStation copy. I think I might be wrong about that, but I swear I saw something about that somewhere. Ooh, this looks like quicksand territory, doesn't it? Okay. So where do I go? Left, forward or right? Steve! I don't know what either of those are. Um, Blaze? I'm afraid. Oh, and she's gonna do the whole Terminator thing. Yeah, I'm going to reload. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Back to taking notes. Back to life. Back to reality. Was this a waste of my time <laughs> coming here? I kind of think it was in, in hindsight, yeah. Let's load that again. New games that are coming out... Like Dead Space, but a successor. Ah, uh, okay. Camera angle. Shop, shop sounding music. Birds. The Boyds. The Boyds are attacking. Steve on screen is never a waste of time. Oh, You guys. You guys. You spoil me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Zoiks. Rut row. Can I... Can I climb out of the goop? I, ki I kind of kid? Yeah? <laughs> kind of? Is there any point to me coming down here? I can't see... I, I I really can't see what the idea... Unless it's something... I was thinking to jump to that platform. What do you reckon? I deserve to be spoiled. Oh, oh you. I deserve, You deserve to be spoiled, hence why I work my butt off for you guys. Okay, can I can I interact with this in any way, or is this literally just part of the scenery? I have a feeling it is. Wait a gosh darn minute! Oh, and stretch, thank you. Let's redeem redeem the stretch. Okay, everybody, join me at home. Stretching, considering I feel very achy today. Oh, yes. It's good to have a stretch every once in a while. Thank you very much for the redemption there. And thank you for the couple bits, Hyun Chimi. I think there's a thing down here. Yes, there is. This is the this is the source of the Scotch porridge oat supply. I found it, everyone! Oh, okay. Pistols only, no med kits for the rest of the level. Okay, then I'll be. Um, yes, I am feeling... Uh, I'm feeling a bit better, like, literally this morning and last night. I kind of felt like I've been hit by a truck a bit. I've just been feeling a bit, sort of, woozy most of the day. It's definitely hit me harder than the first jab did. But I'm kind of hoping that we're on the tail end of it now. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Da, da, da. More team is Groft. Petronius, welcome. The creator of Macho Broccoli himself. Well, the emote. 
How the devil are you, Mr. Pete? Can we get some macho broccoli emojis in the chat there for Mr. Pete? TR3 Gold is it's going. I'm actually playing it, which I'm very surprised at. There we go. 10 bits from Uncharted. Thank you very much. So this little area here is just full of stuff. A couple bits there from Hein Chimi as well. Thank you. Kind of said that in the wrong order there, didn't I? Oh, dogs! Dags! Devil dogs. Yes, Willard apparently has a smorgasbord of statuesque dogs that transform and attack its uh, castles and his castles intruders. I, uh, why? Where am I in Scotland? I I don't actually know the Highlands. Apparently, the level is called Highland Fling, so I can only assume that the the devs were kind of like Scotland. You know, <laughs> we're picking their location for this. Uh, she, she's in Scott, Scottsville. Yeah. We go up here. No. It's Will on what you expect. Where have our Loch Ness is? Lock, uh, lock, 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 lock. <laughs> what is, what is down here? It's a small. Small gap up here, but nothing to grab. Nope. Probably Inverness. Hey, Mortal Fielding, thank you very much for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Welcome. Two bits there from High and Chimi, thank you. Huh. I've done a full loop. So that's if you fell in, fall in there, that's where you end up at. That's where you can escape. Oh, Blazing De Developer. Blazing Devilify. Thank you very much there for the subscribe. Be sure to join the Discord and you get some exclusive perks as well as a discount code for my merch store, which you can check out in the About tab and stuff below the video window. Yeah, there must be something else here. There must be. Maybe if I can climb up this thing. Who oh, no. <laughs> I love how I pronounce my username. Hopefully not too badly. I have a habit of just completely going full ham on people's usernames because I I just seem to constantly get them wrong somehow. I nailed it. Excellent. Uh, on October you can meet Frank Wel Welker or Peter Collin at Comic Con in Scotland. I've never been to Scotland, you know. In all this time on my, uh, all my time on this planet, I've never visited the Scots. I'd like to one day. Don't get me wrong. One heck of a drive. Steve, look at the stretched statue texture. It looks weird. Stretched statues tech. Where? This one here? No. Hi, Anjumi. Thank you very much for the couple bits. So we're on 439. Nice. I wonder if we can make it to 500. That'd be quite a nice round number for tonight. There is something up there, though, isn't there? I doubt it's anything that I'm supposed to get to. God, this level is quite um, labyrinthine, isn't it? Considering it's the first... It's the first level. There are definitely a lot of... They've expanded upon the multiple routes that you can take to go to and from places. <laughs> Sign Jim with the 10 bits. Corgo Bork. Bork Bork. Heard you, heard you, Bork. Oh, we wanted to Scotland? You've always wanted to go? Yeah, maybe a road trip. When we eventually have the chance to come up and see you guys, right? Um, um, gaming, um, lorry. Stand up. I mean, 2 Rona 3 was very, was very true. Very labyrinthine, and at least 
half of its levels and its theme. Yes. Okay, so anyone want to kind of give me a clue, perhaps, where I've got to go? Because I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm wasting time here. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Yep, there, there goes my life force. And there goes my controller, apparently. Oh dear. Oh, I've gotta do this again. Who earns? I was in the right direction and I came back. Okay. There are some bite, wasn't there? There's a bite. The lesser spotted Scottish eagle. <laughs> Birdemic time. Okay, going back into the Scots porridge joke supply. How she falls down so hard in the thick mud. Very hard. Finish him! Lara, I right fancy some KFC shoots eagle. <laughs> oh, it'd be right tasty deep fried like battered Mars bar. Can you imagine if Lara Croft was front leads? I'm Miss Croft, I pre collect artifact. Oop, stretch. Oh, yes. Oh, my arm hurts. Oh, oh my arm. No. <laughs> oh, thank you very much there, Stephen Clan. I don't know why battered Mars bars exist. They're not that bad. They're quite sickly, though. <laughs> Definitely not good for you. Oh my god, everyone's spamming the drama um, sound effect. Good lord, lots of drama. Battered Mars, Mars bars are when you actively seek out a heart attack. God damn it, stop it! <laughs> there's so much, there's only so much drama I can take. Right, now where do I go? Apparently I was on the right track. Ten bits there, two bits from high and shooting, ten bits there from Uncharted Raider. Thank you very much. Lovely, lovely people. All right, so, okay. <laughs> Where the devil am I supposed to go? That would be exciting. I've always wanted to meet someone from the community. I'm actually going to have an opportunity at some point um, this year for a kind of meet, a meet up actually with the community because um, there's going to be an event in Derby which me and Raidercast are going to. Um, so watch this space. It's going to be like a Tomb Raider thing happening. So yes, come to Derby. When more information is made available, then I can tell you all about it. The mix is Thank you very much there for the resub. Eight months now. I don't come into the stream as often as I like, but when I do, it's an anniversary. Thank you. And Angel Ash, thank you for the five bits. Four, six, eight on the bit train. Keep it coming. Okay. Right. I think I've exhausted all options for this particular part of the castle. I'm going to go back through the crawly space. Hmm, maybe I'll go back into the mud. Do you take sexy pics? I certainly will, Norsk. I certainly bloody will. Oh, okay. 
Ah, what the hell, man? <laughs> Let me, uh, sav. I don't know what that huge stone monolith thing is there, Stephen Clan. Maybe, maybe, and this is just a thought, maybe it's a huge stone monolith thing. <laughs> what? What do you want from me? Ooh, medkit. Right. That's clearly signposting I should be able to gla glab. Grab up there. Oh, hang on. Oh, holy, holy balls. I, th I swear. I swear all of the, all of the, the platforming segments and stuff that I've been traveling to in this, I've been doing out of order, completely on accident. Yeah, because this is expecting you to just be like, oh, you see these vines? Oh, you, ju you can just climb these, he says, trying and failing to do just that. Why can't you jump, Ms. Croft? Oh, no. My, th my hypothesis. And thank you for the 10 bits there, Uncharted. A special boy. A special boy. Looking forward to that copy of Advent Children on 4K Blu-ray when it arrives. As well as that one chip challenge that me and Uncharted Raider are going to be doing live on a community evening. That's going to be a bit of fun. One extremely hot tortilla. Two plucky boys. Hilarity ensues. Yes. Okay, so we're back here. We're back here. It's quicksand. She can't jump. Oh, hello. And I've still got the challenge. For the rest of this level, I can't heal. But I have to use my pistols. Camera shows up. Steve, go up. See her. Down we go. Well, I did try going up. It was just too high. I'm going to look back there now and eat my words because there's going to be a part. There's going to be something up there that's going to let me climb up, isn't there? Thank you for the couple bits there, Survivor Reborn. Two, two bits from Jason. Oh, my God almighty. Right, okay, I'm reloading. <laughs> oh, dear. This, this, this is what happens when you join me on stream for, for any kind of shenanigans. Oh, there's a smoking doggo statue up there, too. Or either that was just where smoke naturally congregates. Everyone needs a, a emotional and tech support Jason in their life. What is that? We found it. We found Willard's butt plug. No help for me. Thistlestone. Thistle stone. Yes, it is for the snake statues at the gates. Finish Steve. <laughs> I was going to make a really dirty joke there. I'm not going to. Sarah wins fatality. Because no. Scotland. And drop. Hooray! We made it, everybody. We made it to the place. <laughs> Yay! Go me. Two bits from Hi and Chimi. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Warality. Oh, we're back here. So that's essentially just taking us on one big circle, wasn't it? In one grandiose big circle. But now I know where we need to go. So that's good. There's got to be another one on the other place that we didn't slide down from. Um, can you agree that this castle was a piece of shit? I mean, it's, it's, in, in a, it's in a bit of disrepair. Uh, nothing a bit of masonry work and a lick of paint can't solve. But there we go. I digress. Uh, a lot of people are streaming Ninja Gaiden Master Collection, Steve. Good for them. <laughs> More power to them. More power to them. I think Ninja Gaiden would actually give me a blooming heart attack if I tried playing those games. With just due just, 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 to stress. 
<laughs> green because thistle. Okay, we're going back to green then. Hold on to your horses. It's time to go green. Ow. There we go. Enjoy. Enjoy the green. As I often say to my friends. Oh, shit. Thank you very much for the donation there. Thank you very much, little hand hand. Oh, brings me one step closer to my um, studio upgrade. So thank you very much. The Gunderson voice. Yes, yes. The Gundonator, as I like to call him. Come with me if you want the paintings. <laughs> I know your clothes, your boots, and your obscure paintings. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Two bits there from Hi and Jimmy. Thank you. Ooh, climby stuff. It's climbing time. And we've got a pit to avoid. Can I catch Nessie through here? Can I catch a glimpse of the old Ness? Inverness? What's that? There it is! Nessie! Nessie! Hello, Nessie! <laughs> oh my god, it's it's a it's a 2D Nessie, that's brilliant. Jump into the pit. <laughs> Why do you do this to me? Okay, fine. Uh, now shoot Nessie and mount her on the wall. <laughs> I can't. Right, here we go. <sighs> hey up! <laughs> It was a death pit as well. Brilliant. Fantastic. If you gotta if you gotta go out, you you gotta go out with style, really, haven't you? You have to. Ooh. That crunch though. <laughs> Water equals fire. <laughs> the commands are not working when I want. Oh no, there might be, it, it, it can sometimes have a bit of a cooldown depending on how often you've used them. If there's like a high volume of traffic, sometimes it can get a little bit stuck. Just give it some time, Vic Viper. I'm sure it's not purposefully ignoring you, <laughs> just to be spiteful. Don't think it's that clever. Doop, 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 doop. <laughs> Sam! I think I had too much to drink. I saw the Loch Ness Monster, Sam. It winks at me. It handed me this mojito. I've got to drink it. <laughs> thank you very much for that for the 10 bits, Uncharted. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We will not be diving into the pit. No, no, no. Throw a flare at Nessie. There it goes. Yeah, no. <laughs> Bars are not see through. Well, not <sighs> hollow. Ah, okay. I'm going to do some climby, climby nonsense. Technical turn. So let's do that. The only animal Lara can't murder, yes. And unicorns. Ah! <laughs> Dramatic camera angle, though. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, is this a mod or official content? I guess official. This was DLC. This was like an expansion pack. Um, not expansion pass. An expansion pack for the PC version of Tomb Raider that released officially. Two bits from Hi and Chimi. Thank you very much. Neato Indido. Very difficult to get running, though, on modern PCs. 
as some of you may already know. But um, yes, from what I've heard, very worth your time. We played the first expansion pack, we've played the second, and we're now playing through the third. There wasn't, unfortunately, wasn't one for Tomb Raider 4. Uh, I think there was one that was going to be planned, but it got axed for whatever reason. Hi, Jimmy and Raider Mama. Thank you very much for the couple bits. Ah, oh, yes. And now we have reached 500 on the hype train. Thank you so much, everybody. Congratulations. Uh, congratulate yourselves. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Get some win wins in the chat there. Yes, there was a single level. The, the Times, the newspaper, The Times, made a level for it, weirdly enough. And now we're at 600 bits. Thank you, Uncharted. Has anyone managed to spawn Golden Lara, by the way? I've, um, I've, I've adjusted the percentage. So it's not going to happen as much as it has been. It's going to be more rare. No, it was based off the Times newspaper. There, there was a, a level that was created for them and that it came, along, came with an issue of the newspaper, I think, and it featured a journalist from the newspaper in it or something, something like that. Please save. Yes, yes. Getting there. Getting there. Only works for me if I plug speakers and headphones in. Whenever I forget it, it crashes the title screen. That's very odd behavior. Maybe if you watch the VOD back, you can, um, the stream back, you can actually try out my methods that I deduced to get this working as, as, I, as you are seeing now. <laughs> well, you shall see. Lara Calden, welcome. Uh, by the way, Steve, I was wondering if you've played Nightmare in Vegas. I haven't seen it on my channel. I have played Nightmare in Vegas. It's not uploaded to my channel, but I do have the VOD. Um, it should be on my Twitch. Unless it's expired. Hopefully it hasn't. Um, but it's... Yes, I have played through all of the Tomb Raider 2 gold content, actually. You're saving points for a good challenge for me. Oh, goody. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. Hmm. Steve! Uh, as you save before falling... Has the same feeling of the to be continued from Jojo. Maybe I might make that a thing that you can do in the stream. You never know. Two bits from High and Chimi. Thank you very much. No! Bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. True Raider. Holy shit. Thank you very much for the 100 bits there. We're now on 700. It's not within the... It's not with the... Um, Outside the realms of possibility that we might reach a thousand bits today. That'd be amazing. The raven. The raven. The raven on my head thirsts for your blood. Uh, why are you keep trying from the side? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I don't quite know what I'm doing. I'm just sort of working things out. I'm experimenting. Uh, the experimental phase of my raidering. Never more, never more. Oh, for fuck's sake, Uncharted. <laughs> 300 from Uncharted, thank you. We're now at a thousand bits. There we go. There's that. <laughs> Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you very much to everyone who, who has donated bits today. Eat my shorts. Ah, oh, come on. Have I tried just standing under it and jumping? Do you know what? I haven't. Let's try the, let's try the obvious thing. I think it's going to be too... It's got to be too high for me to do that, surely. 67 bits from Moon Spirit. Welcome, my friend. Oh, my feckin'... Oh, right, okay. Note to self, always try the most obvious way of doing things first before then getting all kind of crazy 
Do you know what it is? It's Requiem. I'm, I'm gonna blame that thing for everything because it has conditioned my mind to expect everything to be way more complicated to pull off than it actually is. <laughs> WTB, welcome. Could you please explain what you have done, what you have to do this level? Are you looking for something, a key or a door? At the moment, I'm looking for two items. If I pause, I can show you one of them. Hopefully. There we go. So we got one of these thistle stones. We're going to look for another one to then use at a gate to then progress to the rest of the level. There we go. Ah, uh, sixty-nine, dude. Uh oh. Oh no no no! Ah! Oh god! <laughs> that was horrifying. I got killed by a giant sprout. Oh, another 69 bits there from Uncharted. I feel stronger now. The PTSD from a game is extreme. Yes, still receiving counselling. So that's 1138 there on the um, on the hype train. <laughs> Laura got stoned by a big block of weed. <laughs> big block of weed. You're welcome, um, 69. You're welcome. Yeah, the, sp the Brussels, they don't fuck them out in Scotland, do they? Go big or go home, especially with um, Christmas dinners, clearly. Uh, right. So this is the part where I could basically be like... Squished, squished by... Squished by boulder. If I walk any further. Oh, there's another. Hang on. That shouldn't have worked. <laughs> oh, well. I feel stronger now. Hydrate. Thank you very much, Ray Mango. Thank you. Need to actually refill on that. Save? I'll tell you when to save. <laughs> I will save. Yeah, it did practically just hop over me, didn't it? Bah, 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 bah. Hi, Unchimi. Thank you very much for the couple bits. 1140. Uncharted with 420. <laughs> 1560 bits. Thank you. I'm not your Mary, but uh, thank you very much for the follow. Interesting. Be nice if I could see. There we go. <laughs> Got to do some climbing, methinks. Ah. Okay. I mean, I think I'm going the right way. The camera angle's a little bit weird. I can just about see a ledge there. <coughs> Level reminds you of Stormy Ascent from Crash? Yeah, it's um, dis castle in dis disrepair with obscenely out of the way platforming. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, fun is coming. Oh, great. It's fun charted time. Bats! <laughs> sure, car car. I'm going to save. So I might try climbing down just in case there's anything down there. Sap. Oh, God. Everyone's saying get clips ready. Wouldn't it be great, though, if I just did something first time somehow? That's quicksand down there. Attack of the PNG bats, yeah. Yeah. Let me just reload that. I fucked it. 
How many birds does Lara need to kill before she has enough meat for a $5 fill up at KFC? Iron Chibi, thank you for the couple bits. Right. Okay. This is apparently where the fun begins. I I am um, much anticipate. Scottish quicksand, the most deadliest of all quicksand. I'll have you know. Hmm. Let's think about this relatively logically. I feel like I'm going the right way. You f Zoolander, I'm unable to turn left. For the rest of the level? Oh my god. Okay. You unsavory little c Oh, poo. I've actually just... I've actually just... <laughs> Backtrack to when I don't need to. Let's do that again. Ten minutes, okay. I think I'm going to need to put a caveat for some of these challenges, that some of them need to be at least accompanied by a time limit, otherwise it can get silly. So. Let us set a timer. He says... Ten you minutes. And there we go. Ten minutes has started. Kidoki. Artichoke. I feel stronger now. I mean, they can be in game, they can also be like outside game challenges as well. Hang on, I've got to turn right. Two bits from High and Chimi, thank you. I feel like I've got to get down there. That feels like a I need to go there type place. Okay. Truth or dare, goodness. My spinach puffs. Right, so I've clearly got to get up there. Aha! Curse, curse my, um, Zoolander illness. I mean, shimmying left is still okay, otherwise I'm not going to be able to progress, right? Oh, I, I, I guess I fudged that, didn't I? I didn't even realise that was there. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. After the no turning left challenge, you can try playing with one hand for five minutes. Unless it's official, it ain't happening. So... There's clearly what I've got to get, where I've got to go, isn't it? I'm just going to take this moment to save, <laughs> just in case you know what will happen. Save! Tony Stank. <laughs> Goddamn murdering crows. Ah, yes. Scottish MP5 ammo. Thank you for the couple bits, Hi and Jimmy. Ta, very much. Has. Oh, hang on. Have I got to do something with this? I have a feeling I've got to. Rap wins! Hello, my friend. How the devil are you? Hope you're doing okay, buddy. I am up. Yes. 
Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> oh, there's a kitten. Oh, cool. There's a kitten sleeping by my door as well. I don't think you can see her if I was to... Let me just take care of this bird pest. Yeah, hang on. Let me just see if I can... Pause that for a second. I'll move out. Sort of see her there. Yeah. You can kind of see her little paw. But yeah, she's asleep. She's sleeping. Sleepy kitty. Uh -huh. Hello! Unsavory little runt. Thank you for the couple bits, Hi and Chimi. You unsavory little Yeah, I thought she was cheering the fact that I was up. Nope. Nope, not in it, not at all. <laughs> you unsavory little Hey? She's Animal Crossing and she's very proud of her creation. As she should be. She, her Animal Crossing stuff is very well made. Uh, can someone challenge Steve to not leave this area before finding the secret? The secret, you say? I mean, cool shot, bro, but was anything supposed to happen? Maybe. I mean, the only place I can think that has... would have a secret that I have seen is down there, surely. Because that's back the way I came. Hmm, okay. Maybe, maybe. Oh, shit, I turned left. No! I veered left. Oh, you know what you want? Oh, CJ Blackform, welcome. You know what they want me to find? Colour me intrigued. Is it down there? <laughs> Take it, take my last bit. I will, Uncharted. Thank you so much, my dear Andrew. You've been very, very generous today. Thank you. Everyone has been today, actually. It's been really fucking good. Challenge Steve to speak. I am not doing that. I can tell you that for free. So where is the secret then? I feel like if I slide down that, it's gonna negate a lot of my progress. So come on then. So am I hot? So we do play a bit of hot and cold with the chat. Am I hot? Am I close? It's an awkward one, is it? Awesome. My favorite type of secret. Awkward ones. But it's worth it. Probably isn't. Can't be as awkward as Requiem. This is true. How much do you like having me around? I do. I like I, I like a lot. Like everyone, I really like having around. Hmm. Even you, dummy, dummy. Even you. I'm just going this way just to explore. I don't know if I'm supposed to go this way. If it's going to lead to anything. But we shall see. Two bits there from Hi and Chimi. Thank you very, very much, Hi and Chimi. <laughs> How much would you like to have Vin Raider around? Do you know what? I would actually like to have a conversation with Vin Raider about his Requiem map. I really would. A lot of effort went into it. As much as it pissed me off at times, and I thought some of it was, like, 
Really unfair bullshit. Um, it was really bloody well made. I am not doing that. I, oh, goodness. Oh, Sarah's going to fucking kill me if I do that. Oh, okay. Brilliant. Yeah, quite po What the fuck? Right. Okay. I can see why you wanted me to go for that secret now. It spawned Nessie. Yeah. <laughs> the only reason why I'm saying I probably won't do it is because of the fact that Sarah's got a banging headache at the moment. If she, see if she hears me talking like Spongebob for two minutes. Yes. Oh, she's fine with it. Okay, fine. Once the other timer runs out, I'll do it. I I can't do a SpongeBob impression. I'll I'll just warn you now, it's gonna be terrible. Ah no! <laughs> There's a taster. Exactly. Bring on the horror. Sounded like mo more like Roger Moore than SpongeBob. How many times have you heard Roger Moore speak? Okay, so here we go. Two bits there from High and Chimi. Five bits there from Angel Ash. Thank you very much. Two minutes of me talking like SpongeBob. Go. Oh shit. Well, well, no. <laughs> Oh, Jesus! I... <laughs> I... <laughs> oh, f for God's sake. <laughs> I hate it as well. <laughs> I could just not talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but where's the fun in that? I, I'm, I, I'm part of me's dying, <laughs> my soul. <laughs> it. It does not sound like a racist Jewish impersonation. If you want that, like, you want Kyle's cousin from South Park. Here, Nessie, Nessie. Oh God, it's Nessie. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna eat my brains. No! How do I escape? How? <laughs> No. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I legit hate you. <laughs> oh, let's try that again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, run. Ah. There we go. You're welcome, and I'm sorry, Sarah. Oh. There we go. You are savory little cut. Maybe there's a way to climb down from here, maybe? Oh, no. I've just fallen into the beginning part of the level. Ooh! Ooh, the crowd hates that. Steve Bob Warpants. Thank you, Blaze. Thank you <laughs> for clipping that moment. That was modern art. I mean, you probably need to get so to get out and see more more modern art there, I feel. But thank you. Sound like a funky worm. Look, the funky worm song. Not heard of that before, but thank you for enlightening me to its existence. Stephen Clan is back. 
This time, it's payback. Huh. After getting the flower, go to the level where you killed the guard, then look around. The flower? I have gotten the flower. What, a scorpion is in Mortal Kombat or an actual scorpion? <laughs> Two different things. And Luna Lotus, thank you very much for the clip as well. I've got Norsk's Natla song stuck in my head. Die, Natla, die. Thank you very much there for the bits there, Hai and Chimi. Gunshmi. Hey. Payback for making me have to see Cake World. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. You could start a career in voice acting. Really? What, to drive people with the intent to drive people insane? Nope. Oh my good lord. Wow. Uh, how many? 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 bits there for rap wins. Gonna get five notifications there. Thank you very much, my friends. Thank you. Steve Bob Ball Pants. <laughs> that just sounds dirty. I mean, yes, there are, but. <laughs> hmm. The level with the dead guard, I mean... Oh, down there. Okay. I can't at the moment see where the fuck I'm supposed to go to get to Nessie, unfortunately. Hmm. 510. Forgive me for that challenge, it's fine. I'll, I'll let you off. I'll let you off. And stretch, okay. Let's do some stretches, everybody. You can see my armpits here. The cat has moved. There's no more kitty. Oh, stretching my legs as well. Ow, 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 ow. <sighs> Thank you very much. Ooh, 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 ooh. More team is dropped. Yes, with extra LSD. Lovely. Uh, before reloading from this ledge, you could have seen the exit. The blue part, the blue part of the wall. I gather that was probably where you eventually end up. Entrance, not exit. Right. I'm going to ask you this once. Please stop calling me Shaggy. Thank you. Oh, come on, it should have grabbed me. Why didn't it grab the ledge? Boo. Boo. The crowd hates that. 
I need to jump into it. That's why then. See you later, Corporal Bridge. No. Thank you very much for joining for what you could. You unsavory little cunt. Ancient secrets. Oh, emote only chat. That's not been redeemed in a while. Let me just put that on there for you. Emote mode activated. So I've apparently got to jump into it. Somehow. I'm probably being really goddamn thick, but I can't work it out. Right, so I'm at the place with the guard. Can't heal, can I? Now where do I go? Most inopportune time to have a moat only chat. Ah no! <laughs> Bugger. <laughs> and thank you for the couple bits there, high and Chimi. God, the, the tri hype train today is looking really healthy. 2,500 and 96. Nicely done. Pick up this thing again. Okie dokie. nothing there on that walkway. There's nothing on the other side. Have I got to run and jump from here to get into it or something? That's madness. Oh, let's give it a shot. Not like that. <laughs> oh, for the love of... Didn't have enough room. Shit. <laughs> hmm. Okay, if I'm in the right place, uh, use the use the broccoli emote. If I'm not in the right place, uh, use I don't know anything else. <laughs> I've not really made this clear for myself, have I? Uh, <laughs> God. This is even anywhere near it. I don't care anymore. This is boring me now.
think it's time that I turn you off, give you your voice back. There we go. Can someone just tell me? <laughs> hey, thank you very much for the bits there. Hi, Chibi and Blaze. Not Blaze, Blue, sorry. And Raider Mama, thank you. Savory little <laughs> Nice, now I better take off these wet clothes. Uh, you were almost there, but there is a closer ledge in the darkness. You will reach it from the middle bridge. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, clearly, everyone is more observant than me. Which is not surprising. Ooh, look at that. Okay. There we go. This is your favorite stage in the entire series together with London's beginning. Ah, okay, fair enough. Someone championing um championing Thames Wharf for once. I'm going to save it here so I don't have to keep walking down to this part. It's okay, I have no idea what's going on. You and me- Ow, oh, I pressed forward. You and me both, Raider Mama. Um. Okay. Brilliant. 10 out of 10. Best secret ever. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, no. Now that I've saved, no more saving for 30 minutes. Well, let's hope there's no more of this level left, eh? 30 whole minutes. Considering the stream's going to be over soon. Yeah, so the remainder of the stream, basically no extra saving. Thank you for the 100 bits there. Rap wins. Sorry. Come on. There we go. Ah. Okay. Gotta make sure I don't mess this up, eh? Ha ha! So what was the point of coming down here? Was it literally just to spawn Nessie or was there actually an item for me to collect? Secret. Ooh, secret lagoon. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's not just like a singular room. It's actually a completely different area. That's pretty cool. Uh, gotta go. Early study day tomorrow. Tomorrow, thank you for the stream. Thank you for joining there, Shunif. Um, Shunif, sorry. Enjoy your studying, if you can. Hope you do well. What the? Oh, hey, Nessie. Um, could you not? I'm kind of trying to get there. Bit rude. Is there anything down here? There's lots of freaking Nessies around here. You'd think they'd be rare, but no, there's two of them. Fire breathing as well. Hey, Pot Hannah. Let's 
time to dive into the waters of Nessie. Oh, I didn't die from that somehow. Unless he likes his personal space. Nessie doesn't share food. Is this is this is this the back end of Nessie? Are we actually gonna is this like Jabu Jabu's belly from Zelda? Are we gonna explore the interior of the beast, so to speak? Yeah, we're very much in Nessie's personal space. It's a fucking robot! What the hell? I mean, that's pretty cool, but at the same time, random. What a twist. It's the Nestbot 5000. Here are the diagrams. You enter through the butt, fire fire out the face. Wow, this is what I... I like secrets like this. I like secrets where it's not just one room with a rare item in it. It's actually got its own thing to it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you very much there on Savory and Hi and Chimi there for the bits. The Loch Ness Robot. Yes, indeed. Can I do anything else with this? Or is that it? Oh, is a lever. Okay, cool. Oh, we've opened up Nessie. This game is all about the secret areas. That's why I've heard this particular one is very shit hot on secret areas being very good. Hence why I'm making a point of going from much like I did with TR Gold, actually. TR2 Gold. Ah, no, dogs. Demon dog. Please don't kill me. I can't. I can't heal or save for the rest of this stream. I really hope I'm, I'm near the end. So Willow clan built a Nessie inside the ruins of their residence to keep those away who aren't already shot by hundreds of guards. And back down we go. What a nice little divert. That was really cool. I liked that. Well worth it. Thank you very much for telling me about that, everybody. And now we get to do it. We get to put the thing in the thing to make the thing happen. Stone number one. Yes, the things. Many things wrap. Many things. Thank you much for the couple bits there, Hi and Chimi. Yes, that was the end of the level. Nice. So that took us a. That was actually as long, I feel, as um, Lud's Gate, but infinitely more interesting to, to navigate, for sure. Oh, uh, only two out of six secrets found. Oh, that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. But I think I've got the best secrets, though, right? Got the Uzis and I've got the. Got the Nessie. Five minutes before the end. Nice. Yeah, there we go. First level completed. Nicely done indeed. Thank you, everybody. Oh, what the? Uh, surprise Scotsman. We're going to have to um, pick it up next time, though. If I just save, we will pick this up next Thursday. And we will take this back to the chat. Oh. Yes, that's been really fun. That's been really fun. I've, I'm, I'm very much glad that I, I elected to try my damnedest to get this working for everyone to see because this has actually been really good fun. And I'm very much looking forward to picking this again on Thursday. But 
Um, one big thing which I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that everyone, as much as people as they can, at least today, can check out is tomorrow. Because tomorrow I'm going to be streaming with some lovely um, level builders um, for Crystal Dynamics again. They're doing another Tomb Raider level editor showcase stream. And I'm just getting up the schedule so I can show you. So I'm basically going to be starting if I just get up the the image here. Because I can't even bloody remember. So at about 2 o'clock UK, UK time or 4 p.m. CET, Central European time, or 7 a.m. PDT, I am going to be playing Sanctuary of Water, Ice and F um, Water, Ice and Fire by Piega. And that's going to be a level set. I'm going to be hosting that along with, I believe, Megan Marie is going to be with me on chat and DJ Full possibly or whoever else might be joining me there. So it's going to be a good time. It's going to be different. Um, it's going to be one level. It's not going to be an entire level set. Um, so there is that. And then I'm going to be raiding tomb, uh, the Tomb Gator, who's going to be doing the Fountain of Youth, which is essentially what TR4 Gold would have been, from what I can gather. Uh, and then we've got a whole bunch of other streamers today. So it's kind of like another relay race sort of situation, but instead of it being one Tomb Raider game, it's several. So it's going to be a nice variety of different um, level sets of different aesthetics and different people stream so i hope you join us for that but in the meantime all that's left to say is a massive thank you to everybody who has joined me for tonight uh, thank you very much to the last bitters there and everyone who has been cheering tonight it's been really much appreciated we have made it to 2842 bits shy away just two just just less than 200 away from sh um from 3000 that's bloody impressive thank you so much for your generosity everybody and thank you to everyone who has donated everyone who has donated uh all the followers all of the um resubscribers so new subscribers um as well if you're new be sure to check out the discord as well and join that become a member join the war clan chat with everyone here and um anyone else who might have hosted as well thank you very much so um gonna be joining us yes I don't know what I'm saying now. All I'm saying is um, thank you very much for tonight. Stay safe, wear a face mask, wash your hands, keep your friends and family safe, and I will hopefully see you tomorrow. Bye for now.